this is Jo from Math Tutor Me. Today we're doing measurement and we're going to look at how to find the area of rectangles, squares and triangles. So I've listed all the formulas here for you. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals BH, B setting for base, H is for height. The formula for the area of a square is A for area equals S squared, S is the side length. And the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals half BH or half the base times the height because a triangle is exactly half of a rectangle with the same dimensions. Okay, so here is some examples for us to do. We want to find the area of each shape. So first of all, you just need to identify what the shape is. So this first shape is a rectangle. So we write down the formula for a rectangle. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals BH. Alright, and then the second step is to substitute in the numbers for the base and the height. The base is 9 and the height is 3. So A is equal to 9 times by 3. And 9 times 3 is 27. We must always include units, so the units this time are centimetres. But because we're doing area, they are centimetres squared because area is counting up all the little squares of area. Okay, question two. This time our shape is a square. These lines tell us that all the sides are the same length and the right angle tells us that it's a square. So the formula for the area of a square is A is equal to S squared, where S is the side length. The side of my square is 5 millimetres long. So I have 5 squared, which is equal to 25. And I include the units. The units are millimetres, and when we're doing area, millimetres squared. Okay, on to question 3. This time we have a triangle. The formula for a triangle is half BH, half base times height. Now the base and the height of the triangle should always be connected by a right angle. So this is the base across here, and my right angle, that's the height there. So you can have all different types of triangles, but you always want the two sides of the triangles that are connected by the right angle. Even in this case, if it's not actually the side, it's actually the height that's drawn in the middle of it here. Okay, so for my triangle, half, my base is 17, times my height, which is 12. Okay, that's not really a timetable that we know, so let's use our calculator. Half times 17 times 12 is equal to 102. The units are metres, so metres squared. Okay, in questions 4 and 5, we have a couple of shapes joined together. So we need to do each shape separately. There is two ways that you can write your answers for this. You can work out the triangle, find the area of a triangle like we've done here, and then you can find the area of the rectangle separately and then add them together. But a much shorter way to do it is to write it on one line. So let me show you how to do that. In this question, I have a triangle and a rectangle. So my area is going to be equal to the triangle half base height plus a rectangle which is a different base and height. So maybe I'll call them capital letters just so they're not the same B and H. Okay, so for my triangle, my base and my height, let's work that out. Well, if this is a rectangle, then that has to be 11 as well. And the whole length here is 19, and this part here is 15. So that means 19 minus 15 is 4. This bit sticking out at the end here must be 4. So the base and height of my triangle will be 11 and 4. So area is equal to half times 11 times 4. Okay, that's my triangle done. I'll put it in brackets just to show that that's one of my shapes done. Now I'm going to add on the area of my rectangle. My rectangle has a base and a height of 11 and 15. So 11 times 15, and I can close, 
put some brackets around that. So then I've got here is my triangle, here is my rectangle that I'm adding together. Okay, so all I have to do now is type that into my calculator. So half times 11 times 4 plus 11 times 15 equals 187. The units are centimetres squared. Okay, let's try this again for question 5. Where, what shapes do I have here? We need to have a bit of a look at this. I could cut this shape. I'm going to draw some lines to cut it. I could cut it down here. And I could cut it down here. I'm actually cutting it into three shapes. Now the good news is that this rectangle and this rectangle are actually the same. Because this line here is 7.4, this one here is also 7.4. And this side will be the same as this one over here, so this is 19.8. The little rectangle though, in the middle here, it's a little bit different. It still has 7.4 for this width here, but the height, okay, if it's 19.8 the whole way down, I subtract a 7.4 because this line says it's 7.4 and that will tell me this height here. So 19.8 minus 7.4 equals, so this height is 12.4. Okay, so now that I have all my heights, bases and heights worked out, let's work out our area. Area is equal to, I have a rectangle. So the area of this rectangle is base and height is 7.4 times 19.8. Now, that's one of my rectangles. But I have one exactly the same over here. So I could go plus and do the same thing again, or a shorter way to do that would just be to say times two, because I have two of them. Then my third little rectangle in here, plus I have 7.4 times 12.4. Okay, and there they are, one, two, three rectangles all done. So now we can type this in to find our answer. 7.4 times 19.8 times 2 plus 7.4 times 12.4. And we get 384.8 meters squared. Okay, so here are four questions for you to try. I want you to pause the video, try these four questions, and then restart to see the answers. So for question one, this is a rectangle, so we use the formula A is equal to BH. The base of the rectangle is 5.4, and the height is 7.3. So we times those together, and we get 39.42 centimetres squared. In question two, we have a triangle. The formula for a triangle is half base times height. Now remember I said before, the base and the height are the ones connected by the right angle. So this one here is actually not needed. It's just there to try and trick you. We need the three and the four. So half times the base, times the height, and that is equal to 6 metres squared. In question 3, we have two triangles connected together here. Let's do this little triangle here first. The formula for a triangle is half the base times the height. My base is 3 and my height is 8, so it's half times 3 times 8. That's my first triangle. Plus, the big triangle now is also half base times height, so half times base and height is 11 and 8. Okay, there it is. We just have to type it in to get the answer. I type in 0.5 for a half because it's just faster to type in. So that equals 56 centimeters squared. And lastly for question four, I'm going to cut down here so that I have two rectangles. 
this three centimeters is for this line here. So I have a three and a five. I have the dimensions for that rectangle and I have a four and a seven for that one. So into our writing down our formula here, our substitution. If this is a rectangle base times height, doing this one first, my base is four, my height is seven. So my first rectangle plus my second littler rectangle, my base and my height is three times five. Okay, and calculate four times seven plus three times five. Oops, missed the times. Fix that up. There it is. 43 centimeters squared. And there it is. Hopefully you got those answers. And that's it for today. Join me next time and we're going to learn some more shapes, how to find some areas of parallelograms, trapeziums, kites and rhombuses. Alright, I'll see you then. Bye.